Hi everyone, it's me, Serena. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another Brad's makeover slash transformation. So for flashback V for Sasha, I'm going to be turning her into my first edition Sasha because I sold the new doll of my first edition Sasha. Don't fucking know why. But it's okay because I think it would be really interesting to see the flashback fever Sasha with like the sort of like golden like reddish colored hair. So we're gonna give her like a very early 2000s like frosted lip. We're gonna repaint her eyes a little bit. I'm really excited. I feel like that's gonna turn out really cute. So, yes. So these are the girls that we're working on today. We have quite a few Sasha's, which is exciting because I love Sasha so, so much. Wintertime Wonderland Sasha. Um, she has a piece of her hair cut, which really sucks. And I don't really know what to do about that, but whatever. <laughs> Flashback Fever Sasha, who I got from my friend James. Hi. Um, I'm going to be making her my first edition, which we know. This is my beautiful ass formal funk Sasha, who I've been wanting for so long, that I got from my boyfriend Emerson for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love her. She's so cute. I don't know what it is about her, but I just love her. And then this is a Tokyo Jade who has these stupid green lips that I repainted a while ago um, in this crazy ass hairstyle. But I'm gonna be removing them so she can be back in like her original state. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna try to do is take off the, um, the lipstick off of this jade and I used acrylic paint and varnish so it's you know it's pretty like it's pretty like stuck on there but my friend Alana actually told me about this and if you take a makeup wipe and you try to just like kind of like soften it in a way um, it kind of like loosens it and you're able to just sort of like peel it off so we're gonna just see if that will work for her. I Please ignore my fingers. I know they're chubby, which is fine, but I don't like it. <laughs> they remind me of like when I was in sixth grade and I was like fat as fuck. Um, yeah, so I can see it's already starting to, you know, like eat at it a little bit. And then you can just start to kind of like pick at it. Um, it definitely needs more, but... So now we just have um, a little bit left in the lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna just like put it in the, um, in the makeup wipe. And then we're just gonna try to like scrape it lightly um, and it will, sort of help it to get out. Okay, so we got all of it off. And now you can see there's a little bit of staining from her mole, but I honestly might just like add it back because it was cute. There's no scrapes or anything, so. No. So starting off with Flashback Fever Sasha, of course, we're gonna go in with the usual um, technique for washing the doll's hair, of course. So the first thing that I start off with is this Ajax, which is like a dish soap. And I only use dish soap on dolls that I feel like the hair needs to be stripped, whether it be stripped from dirt or stripped from any sort of other product. But I felt like this, this doll felt like there was some conditioner like stuck in her hair, maybe from my friend James, like maybe he washed her. But now we're going in with the Suave Shampoo. I think it's best to use kind of like a cheap 
a very like you know sulfated the fucking like the fuck out sort of shampoo like with lots of sulfates and chemicals because um i think the point of sulfates is to make the hair look very plastic and since this hair literally is plastic i think it works well um so then we went in with this conditioner i don't really recommend this conditioner because i feel like it's so like deeply conditioning or whatever that it almost it's like it's almost like really hard to get it out so now we're moving on to jade doing the same exact process just repeating um like i said in my last video i think it's very important to brush the product through the hair because then it will coat like every single strand and a lot of these tips i have learned from a thousand splendid dolls um they aren't um posting videos right now currently but go subscribe to their youtube if you um are into dolls like they have like literally every single kind of doll pretty much but yeah just cleaning up jade i think we finished with her so now here we have oh my god formal fuck sasha she's so pretty doing the same exact thing with her of course um i just kept her ponytail in because i knew that i wanted her hair to dry in that ponytail um because i was like most certainly gonna keep it um up in the style you know <laughs> my fucking arm it's so funny watching things move in like like when it's sped up like watching like my <laughs> like watching me like brush her fucking hair is so funny um cause it just looks so fast <laughs> Uh, so now we have wintertime sasha um and i was just trying to show that like her hair was pretty messy and naughty she had that little piece um i remember her hair was like really um really shedding a lot for some reason which might have been because it was made of kanaklan but i'm not quite sure So here's the girls and they are drying now and this is how um, Formal Funk Sasha looks. I used these little curlers. I used these little curlers to curl her front pieces. I can leave a link in the description of like what they look like. Um, but yeah, I boiled all of them and they look really good. I'm really pleased with how wintertime Sasha's looking. So. We're going to just, of course, let them dry and we'll see them in the morning and then we're going to repaint them and we're going to touch them up and everything. This is how they're turning out. I'm just going to brush out her hair now. Oh my God, it looks really good. This is how Miss Wintertime Sasha turned out, which, ugh. Oh. I always am like so impressed with how Kanekalon turns out like after you boil it and she had this big like chunk of hair missing from the front oh, oh my god look it looks so good oh, it's like so soft and I love Kanekalon I think it's probably my favorite um it's probably my favorite hair type. I just think it's so soft. I love how all the like early 2000s Barbies always had Kanekalon, which is uh, it's just really nice, I think. 
So here we have Miss Tokyo Jade. And her hair also looks really nice. I'm not gonna brush them, I'm just gonna like run my fingers through it because they're already like very dry. Um, Cause I did it earlier yesterday. And uh, her hair looks really good too. It's so nice and I got it all boiled again. So when we style their hair later, I got, I boiled this piece downward for her little, like her little side part. Here we have Miss Formal Funk, which um, I get. I put these little like perm rods in her hair for curling the two front pieces. <gasps> oh my God, her hair is so nice. Ah. Uh. Probably have to put some hairspray in them. Um. <gasps> Look at the little curl! Oh my god, it's so cute. Slightly like pull it out. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, they look so good. I'm going to add glitter with varnish to Wintertime Sasha's lips because. I feel like after a long period of time, the glitter just, you know, starts to fall off. So what I like to do is, um, I take the micro glitter of choice and then, um, I will pour some of my gloss varnish and I'll dip my like tiny little brush in there and get it like wet with the varnish and then I'll dip that into the micro glitter. And then it kind of like mixes together and almost makes like a sort of like thick glittery like varnish paste. And then I just kind of put it on. So I did that with her um, eyelids as well, as you just saw. But now we're moving on to Flashback Fever Sasha. And for her, we're going to add a little bit of green. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of green to her eyes. And we're also going to paint her lips like a really pale color. I kind of ended up messing this one up. Um, as you'll see, I, I explain it like later in the video too. But what I did to try and achieve that like metallic color was I made like a, a really pale like peachy colored um, acrylic, like normal acrylic paint color for her lips. And I tried to live leave like the outer lining of the lips because it was like a dark red before to give it that sort of um lip line like the the lip liner look like the very like early 2000s look but I kind of messed it up and it just doesn't really look how I wanted to and um, I had to add like the iridescent paint over it separately to so have that like that frosted like first edition look, but um, it was like really chunky like the paint for some reason. That's how it looked before, which I think looks a lot better. But you'll see at the end like it doesn't really look as good as it does right there, but it's okay. So this is how. Um wintertime Sasha's looking. I re-glittered her lips and her eyes and I think they look really pretty. She looks a lot more glittery now obviously. So we are going to put her back in her outfit now.
so I think the sash is done for now. This is her completed look. I'll probably put the hat or the little earmuffs on her because they're really cute. But I really, I just want to keep her hair like, you know, like movable for now just because I like just washed it and stuff. So I put the glasses on her because she's about to go snowboarding. <laughs> I love this little bag with like the pink fur and the little snowflake. Um, yeah, she's cute. And I think her glitter looks perfect. So moving on to this is Miss Formal Funk Sasha and this is how she's looking which is really cute I really like her little like tacky like ringlets on the side of her face that I gave her I gave her the side part I really like how there's like the the caramel colored piece like right by her face it's so pretty Ugh. and we're gonna put her in her clothes So I gave her the golden sash and I feel like this is really pretty because the gold really makes that part in her eyes pop and it with the hair. Oh my god. And she has like the earrings and the necklace and the tiara and the little bag and the gloves and the bracelet and the corsage. <gasps> Bitch. She's definitely my favorite. And she's really special because my boyfriend Emerson got her for me which is really special, um, especially because I really wanted this one so bad. And I think he said he got her for like a really good price too. Yay, oh my God, <laughs> she's so pretty. I'm obsessed with her and her, she looks really good with her like added lip glitter. <gasps> Whoa. Yes, <laughs> she looks so pretty. Um, I'm not completely satisfied with her lips. Um, they looked really good at first. and But I really wanted them to have this like iridescence to them. But it definitely looks good. And I don't, if you can see, I added just a little bit of green to her eyes to mimic um, the first edition Sasha. I straightened out her hair a little bit. I kept like a little bit of the wave. Honestly, I was just too lazy to like go through and straighten the whole thing right now, but With the pink lip oh, oh my god look it looks so good I really like it I think the pop of like the pink lip like just makes the outfit look a little bit more like 
feminine or whatever. Oh my God, and the hair. Oh. Bitch. Oh my gosh, she looks so like, she looks so interesting, I think. Ah, yes, okay. Okay, so now the last thing that we have to do is just change this thing. Here is the finished product of all of the dolls. I think that they literally look so beautiful. I'm so absolutely in love with them. Um, especially like these two, I just think look so pretty. So let's start with Wintertime Sasha. She looks really beautiful. You can see I added glitter to her, um, her eye makeup and her lips. And she looks so fucking good and very like pristine, I feel. And her hair turned out perfectly. This is how my Sasha turned out, the my first edition Sasha. This is her face. And see her eyes, I painted them green. Like I added like more green into the eye because first edition Sasha has green and I painted her lips this like they look a little bit chunky. Um, I kind of didn't do it right. Like, I'll probably go in and fix it and on, or maybe honestly just like redo it. I, I wanted to keep the outer lining to look like she had lip liner, but I don't really think, I think it's too dark. It just doesn't really give like the effect. But I ended up having to add like this, like two extra layers of paint because I was trying to get it to be like, um, I wanted it to be sort of similar to Chloe's lips, like just with um, like a very like metallic, like frosted look. And I had this like metallic paint or like iridescent. So it has the effect, but yeah, um, I gotta fix it. But I do think it looks pretty good. She looks so pretty with this hair color. Still have to finish flat ironing it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just feeling kind of like lazy today. Oh my God, this one is definitely my favorite. This is how my Warm of Funk Sasha is looking. So here are her two little curls. And I really like how them, cause they look very like tacky, I think. Added more glitter to her lips. And of course she looks stunning as always. <laughs> um, I ended up giving her the side part to resemble the doll from a commercial. This is how her hair turned out. I just boiled it. I just wanted her to have like a normal, like straightish, you know, ponytail. Didn't want to do anything too crazy because I knew I wanted to add the curls. And then here is Miss um, Tokyo Jade, who I feel like has probably had the most the most like Jurassic change but this is the little outfit I put her in um I think she looks perfect her hair turned out amazing it looks so good I gave her these like little pink shoes and a little bag and then this little like scarf I wrapped around her head just to add like another 
pop of color and everything. Yeah, you can see she has a little bit of staining. But this, so this brings me to the end of the video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know which doll you liked the best. Eternal love from Serena.